Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to the finale of Get Wrecked. It is the morning of day 7000. We're here at the base, which I named Bamboozled. Now, Bamboozled used to be slang for drunk back in like the 1800s, but now it means to confuse or to trick, which I think the base does to the zombies, but really I just named it that because it looks like it's being held up by a bunch of bamboo, which as you can see, I upgraded all to steel. The blocks that the pillars stand on are also upgraded to steel, and the outer row of bars up above I upgraded to steel, but everything else in the base is just concrete. We got the electrical fence posts all hooked up and ready to go, uh, the blade traps as well. I added a few more, so now they surround the base completely, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is the same. We can jump up here. We got the generator bank nice and protected. We got the hatches in place here and over there that we can open up so we can use throwables. I put this hatch in right here in case we want to get up on the roof. And I put bars around the edge so we can stand here and use throwables or maybe the rocket launcher if we want to. Even though we are kind of a sitting duck up here, so not sure if that's going to be a good place to go, but at least it's an option. And uh, that's it. Let's... Uh, Bring on the day 7,000 horde now and see what happens. My character is maxed out, by the way. Uh, I think the game stage is like 720, something ridiculous like that. I did spend a couple of skill points, uh, like I maxed out Robotics Inventor, for example, so we can use two junkies at the same time tonight. Um, my prediction for tonight is the zombies are not going to be able to take this base down. There's just too much support. I don't see that happening, even if we set off all the demolishers. I think our biggest problem is going to be cop puke. Matter of fact, I think if we die tonight, it's more likely that we die from cop puke than it is the base failing. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I've been wrong plenty of times before. There's only one way to find out. Let's fire up the generator. Everything should be working. Let's get one junkie put down right here. And the other one... Put down here, facing the other way, and we can move them around if we need to or want to. And here we go. Blade Trap's doing their work. What about the fence? There it is. All right, everything is working. Now what we want to do is basically just like hyper-focus onto any cops that show up. Try and get them taken out quickly and demolishers as well, like this guy here. He's down, but he's not out. Let's see if we can get this headshot. There we go.
All right, I think he's dead. He managed to take that one out without triggering his button. Well, here we are, a couple of hours into the Horde night. I've had a few demolishers blow up. A lot of cops blow up too, but still plenty of support left. The base is definitely not in jeopardy, but as predicted, the majority of damage, pretty much all the damage we've taken, is from Cop Puke. 58 hit points, man. Probably should use another first aid kit. That M60 needs to be repaired. Let's get up on the rooftop. See how this works. Oh yeah. That's not bad if they're hanging out on the edges like this. Sweet. We still are sitting ducks up here though. Especially from incoming cops. So we just gotta keep an eye out. Two more first aid kits left. Uh, but I do have a full stack of bandages as well. So hopefully those will last. Yeah, see? Cops puking at us from the street. I mean, if I really would have thought about it, maybe I could have come up with a clever way to protect us from cop puke, but... Whatever, that kind of adds to the excitement. Look at all these cops. Holy shit, man. Alright, enough of this bullshit. Whoa, look at this crowd. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Took a little damage there, but well worth it. Look at me. I even brought a couple of plaster casts tonight because I figured I would break an arm or a leg at some point. These, uh... The, cr the exploding crossbow bolts or uh, exploding arrows, whichever ones, um... Highly effective. You know, especially for these gigantic hordes like this. Oh, shit. That was not good. Uh, let's see if... Uh, get right back up here. Okay. We're fine. Uh, but yeah, I totally recommend crafting at least a full stack. At least one stack of uh, these exploding arrows or bolts. If you got to deal with a horde of this size. And, um, I haven't had one trigger a demolisher yet. So that's good. Here come some more cops. Ooh, did I just take them out with one of these? I did. Look how effective. It's a demolisher. Two of them down there. Yeah, see, I've even tried shooting these at their chest directly to see if it would set off their button, and it hasn't. So either I've gotten lucky, or these just don't set off their button. That guy's dead. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Here, watch. Oh, he turned his back on me. Seems to be doing well. I, I'm taking a little bit of damage from the explosions, but whatever. Nothing to worry about at this point. He's dead. Okay, these are just a bunch of regular old zombies. Maybe we can try out these contact grenades from the rooftop. Let's uh, bring those down. Oh, more cops are showing up. Oh, yeah. These work great from up here. Oh, jeez, what a pain in the ass. You know, if you really wanted to turn this base into, like, a mega structure, maybe we could have built, like, a tunnel that leads to this base. Almost like a dome, right? Like, surround this base with a wall, I guess. It doesn't have to be a dome. It could just be a wall with a few openings. This way, it kind of funnels them in. 
and you don't have to worry too much about them puking um, as they approach the base. I don't know. Would have been a lot more work. It's probably a simpler solution that's just escaping me right now. At this point, I kind of want to just trigger as many demolishers as I can. Let's see if they can take this base down. Oh, cop blew up. Having a hard time triggering this demolisher, though. There goes another cop. Another cop. <laughs> Jeez. Relentless with the puke. There we go. Nice. Uh, we're infected. But that's not a big deal. I do have some honey on me if we wanted to clear that up. There we go. Yeah, screw it. At this point, right? Let's just blow them all up. Come on, give me that button. Oh, I think I killed him. There's another one, though. Shit. Man. I guess we better use this final first aid kit, because one more direct hit with puke kill us. There we go. Man, we're going to lose all the bars up here before we lose the support. At that point, we might have to retreat to the rooftop. There we go. That works. They're liking that little area right there. I think we're starting to um, wind down a little bit here. Not as many cops or demolishers. So if it's just uh, regular old zombies left, I don't think we have much to worry about. All right, one more. And that'll do it for exploding crossbow bolts. I only brought one stack with me, but I think that was good. Like I said earlier, definitely recommend having those. Uh, I brought a stack of these rocket frags as well. Five more left here. Still no more cops or demolishers showing up, so... Even though it's only 2.30, I think this is pretty much the ass end of the horde here. Oh, shit. I fell through the open hatch. Oh, man, can I get back up here? Oh, damn it. What about this side? Oh, that's completely gone. Well, we might be screwed here. I don't think I can get back up to this ladder. Maybe if I jump from here. Get out of the way, fuckers. Shit. Oh, no. We might be stuck down here. Which, uh, you know, it's not like I haven't fought a horde on foot before, but... I wanted to see about this base. If they could take it down or not, I don't think they can. There's still so much support left, and there's no more cops or demolishers left. And they're all kind of running around confused. They don't know what to attack at this point. I'll still try and get back up there, though, if I can. I just need a clear runway. Come on, big boy, move it. No, oh, that's not going to work. Here we go, ready? Jump! Damn it! Even with parkour maxed out, I can't get up there. Well, there's one mistake I certainly made. Only two ways to get up 
I should have made way more than that. Shit, gotta be careful with that. These contact grenades, man, I killed myself in the in the last episode. Even though I had already died. And I was being reckless. But it's not hard to kill yourself with these contact grenades. Especially uh if you're being chased by a shit ton of zombies. I'm gonna try and make this jump one more time. Uh too many zombies in my way. Half hour to morning. Not much 762 left. I still have a good amount of 9mm. And, uh, you know, a bunch of grenades and stuff. And there are loot bags everywhere. So if this was part of the series and I was trying to kill this horde and not die, I would be looting the loot bags right now for more ammo. But. Since it's just kind of like a fuck around finale. Uh, this was more about the base surviving, not me surviving. And the base has done really well, in my opinion. Look at all that support left. Oh, yeah. This is where the contact grenades shine when you can get them in big groups like that. Beautiful. All right, let's see. One more attempt to get back up into the base. Maybe if we go off this right there. Oh, that was so close. Here, who wants this grenade? Oh, shit. First aid. Boing it. Man, I ran right into that guy. I was looking down at my tool belt. Anyway, let's um, grab the digger tool out of the creative menu. This is a dev tool. It one-shots every block in the game. And let's start taking out the support. Let's actually take the generator out first. Shut that thing off. And let's see how much more damage the zombies would have had to do before the base fell. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. No. The base stands. There's like no support on this side. Holy shit. There we go. Oh, come on, lady. I'm trying to science over here. All right, let's get back to it. I mean... That's crazy. The majority of the base still stands. I mean, what's holding it up? Like two or three support pillars, maybe? And there's like no support underneath. Look how much damage was done to the floor. I mean, we damn near created a pit base underneath this base. Look at this. That's crazy that this is still standing. Now, obviously, this would have been a ridiculous amount of repair work, but there we go. No? Holy shit, there's like two pillars holding it up. One pillar. Look at this. This one right here. There it goes. Dude, that is crazy. There's no way those zombies, even if I didn't fall down, you know, and I would have lasted up in the base, I didn't accidentally fall through the hatch. 
Look, we could have been up there still holding that down. <laughs> There's no way they would have taken that down. And I didn't even expand on it. If this was really day 7,000, I would have expanded the base even further. And as they destroy the floor, I would have been filling it in with concrete blocks to make it more solid, you know? So I think that base was great. The biggest downside of that base was dealing with all the cop puke. But if I would have thought about it long enough, I'm sure I would have come up with a solution for that. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the Get Wrecked series. Thank you so much for all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for two new Seven Days to Die series starting tomorrow, actually, Tuesday. We're going to start a new one, and then on Wednesday, we're going to start the Mall Rat series. So a lot of new content coming this week, and I hope you all enjoy it. Thanks again, and I'll catch you all in the next one.